Hello everybody, it's Joe the Locksmith. In this video, we're going to show you how to look up coverage for your Autel IM608, IM508, or KM100. If you have a vehicle year, make, and model, and you want to know if the tool can do it, add a key or all keys lost to the OBD on the bench. Here's how you can look it up. So you can go first to autel.com. Once you're at autel.com, up at the top, you want to click service and support. Then you want to come down to vehicle coverage. So here is the vehicle coverage database. You want to put in the product model. So here we have IM508 EMO, IM608 EMO, KM100 EMO. So the IMMO in parentheses is referring to the EMO, the immobilizer software in the tool. So as far as key programming goes, you want to make sure you select your tool with the IMMO in parentheses. So let's say you have the IM608, click this one. We choose vehicle make, Let's choose a simple one for now, we'll go to Chrysler. So we have multiple Chryslers. So the abbreviation here is going to stand for, we want to choose NA, that's North America. And we want to choose our vehicle model. Let's say for instance, 300. And we want to choose our year say 11 to 14 and we'll click search now we scroll down okay so here's our information here so vehicle model 300 11 to 14 immobilizer can so we have two of them the first one is immobilizer can it's referring to a bladed key system below it is keyless system that's if it's proximity or push to start. So if you have a blade key, you're gonna look at this one. Add key is showing a black circle. The black circle according to the legend means it can be done all through the OBD. Same for all keys lost, black circle. This car requires a password or pin code. Black circle, you can read it through the OBD. And remote learning is also supported through OBD. So emo parts replacement. This is if you're replacing any immobilizer module from the car. It's showing a white triangle, which means not supported. So for the bladed system, we don't have any functions for immobilizer module replacement. Let's take a look at the keyless system. If it's push to start, it's going to be the same thing. Add key is a black circle, all supported by OBD. All keys lost as well. Reading the pin code as well. Remote learning, it's a black triangle, meaning it is not required. This is because the remote programs at the same time, all simultaneously with the proximity in the push to start system. Now for mobilizer parts replacement, it's showing you can replace the RFH hub and the ESCL, Electronic Steering Column Lock. So here's a quick way to look up the immobilizer coverage for your tool. Let's choose another car, for example. Let's close that. We'll choose BMW. Let's say it's a three series and the model year four to 13 and we'll click search scroll down so three series year range 2004 to 13 the system is a cast 3 add key is shown black circle 
it is supported through the OBD. All keys lost is a white circle and a white square. So it means part of them are supported through the OBD, part of them required on bench. And read password, black circle, it can be read through the OBD. Remote learning, not required. It programs simultaneously with the key. As far as immobilizer parts replacement, you can replace the CAS module. The EGS is partly supported. That means some can be done, some cannot be done. And the DME engine control unit is also partly supported. So that's a BMW example. Let's check, for example, an Audi. Audi. We'll choose an A4. Let's say it's an 08 to 16. Quick search. Okay, let's check this one. So we have A4, 08 to 16. It's a Mobilizer 5, BCM2. Add key, black circle. Add key supported through OBD. All keys lost, black circle, also through OBD. Okay, here's what you have to watch out for on this card. This card does require a password. So you have a white circle and a white square. So some of them you can read the password through the OBD. Some of them you have to read it on the bench. But once you obtain this password, you can do the key th programming through the OBD. Okay, now remote learning is not required. Same thing, program simultaneously with the key. As far as immobilizer parts replacement, the engine computer is partly supported. TCM, transmission control module, partly supported. ELV, the steering lock, partly supported. Depends on the software and the module type. So here's how you would look up coverage using the autel.com website. Now you have the same coverage database in your Autel tools in the IM508 tablet and the IM608 tablet. Let me show you that now. So in the tablet, you want to go to the home page, click home button on the bottom left, and you want to open up this app here. It's called the function viewer. So we'll click the function viewer. And here pops up the same legend, the same symbol annotation. You can take a picture of this, we'll say already know. And we have the same database here. So again, we're gonna choose I am 608 emo. Okay. We'll choose our brand model and year. So again, we'll choose the same. BMW, 3 Series, and here you have the same information as you find on the website. And we want to show you, if you come and you choose, there's also another selection here. These are all the Autel tools. Let's say you choose 608S2. Say Acura, for example. Now you see it's different. Well, let's, uh, let's choose BMW again. Three series, all. So now it's showing a completely different list of functions. So these functions that it's showing you is the functions on the diagnostic side. See here, sub function. So you look at your system in the body, and here's the sub-function. So if you wanna look up a particular function you would have on the diagnostic side of the software, 
This is how you can check it. I'll show you on the website as well. So if you want to see the diagnostic functions, we're going to close this out here. We're not looking for the IMMO. We'll choose, for example, IM6082. Same thing. Choose BMW. Three series. All search. So as you can see here, these are all your diagnostic functions. Click view more. As you can see, it's an extensive list, but this is a quick way to reference the functions that you have available without being, without having to be connected to the car through the OBD port. All right, hope that helps you guys. Once again, thank you for watching. Have a great day.